Class 5 SOF IMO Set B Achiever Section Achiever Section Question Number 46 Which of the following figures has maximum shaded area? Let's start with Figure P. In Figure P, there are 5 full shaded squares and 4 half shaded which we can take as 2 full shaded squares. If we add them up, we'll get 7. So the area of shaded portion in figure P is equal to 112 square centimeter. Similarly, in figure Q, there are 10 half shaded squares and we can take them as 5 full shaded squares. Area of shaded portion in figure Q is equal to 180 square centimeter. Similarly, in, in figure R, there are 3 full shaded and 9 halves. Similarly, if we calculate, we will get 67.5 square centimeter. Area of shaded portion in the figure P is equal to 112 square centimeter. Q is equal to 180 square centimeter. And R is equal to 67.5 square centimeter. So the maximum shaded area is in Q. So our answer is C. Q. Achieve a section question number 47. Select the correct option. We'll go step by step of the options. Option A. The HCF of two numbers is always less than the LCM of these numbers. The HCF of two numbers may be less than the LCM of these numbers. In some cases, HCF and LCM of two numbers may be one of the number. HCF of two numbers is always less than or equal to their LCM. Also, LCM is always multiple of HCF. In the question they have given us, always less than. But no, it's not always less than. It can also be equal to. Hence, this statement is wrong. Option number B. The least common multiple of 45, 60 and 200 is 360. First, we'll start by checking the multiples of the larger number. That is 200. Multiples of 200 are 200, 400 and 600. As we can see, there is no 360 in this. So, we can immediately conclude this statement is wrong. Option C. If the number 524082 is divisible by 17, then quotient is equal to 30828 and remainder is equal to 6. Now, we are going to check this. For checking, the formula is dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. If we check with the formula, this statement is correct. Answer is C. Achiever section question number 48. Read the given statement carefully and select the correct options. Statement 1. The smaller angle made by the hands of a clock at 520 is an acute angle. Statement 2. The number of perpendicular lines in the given figure is 7. Yes, the smaller hand made by the hands of the clock at 520 is an acute angle. Now, let us check statement 2. As we can see here, there are only 5 perpendicular lines in the given figure. So, the answer is C. Statement 1 is true, but statement 2 is false. Achiever section question number 49. The given table shows the water consumption of 5 houses on a particular day. Based on the given information, select the incorrect option. A. Water consumption of house R is 220 liters less than house T. Let us check this. Difference of water consumption of house T and R is equal to 1320 minus 1100 which is equal to 220. So this statement is correct. Now let's check B. Among the given data, house S consumed less amount of water. Yes, that is also correct. C. The total water consumption of houses P, Q and S together is 3090 liters. Now let us check that. P is equal to 950 liters. Q is equal to 1250 liters. S is equal to 870 liters. If we add that all up, we will get 3070, not 3090. This statement is wrong. And the incorrect option is C. Achieve a section question number 50. 
Match the following and select the correct option, column 1 and column 2. Column 2 is based on the number of lines of symmetry. In the P figure, there is only one line of symmetry. In the R figure, there is two lines of symmetry. We will match P with option 2 and Q with option 3 and R with option 1, which leads us to the answer as D. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.